injury rabbit, but what a talent he is. And 2022 kicks off at Scotstone Stadium. It's fourth against fifth in the URC in a game that could be crucial. The dig, he goes it alone. Go line white! Jamie Batty. Now Ali goes to Cole Forbes. Much well finished by Glasgow, isn't it? It had to be because the Ospreys defence just kept putting the tackles in, but Glasgow kept possession. You know, very, very influential breaks from Josh Mackay to start. George Turner broke a couple of tackles. Sander Ferguson showed a bit of footwork. And in the end, it was Cole Forbes who broke through Crothers' tackle. On three excellent kicks so far, and it's a warning for Glasgow. It's also what I was saying about you know, what Toby Booth has created in the culture of the Salt Springs side, they're difficult to beat, they stay in games, you know, and that's what, what he's had to do in coming to the Salt Springs team is to regenerate them in that facet. Well, it's really a case of three visits with possession into the Glasgow half and they've taken, taken points on each occasion. He's so long out, Gareth has got an injury, but a lot of that... Can he hit them towards the end of his injury? Well, he would be able to do goal kicking skills, extra work, and it looks as if and he's always been a good kicker, but he's an exceptional kicker at the moment. Thompson for Mackay, lovely timing on the pass to Wilson. Tui Pilotu at pace with power. He's searching out the try line, and he's gonna find it. An individual score from Sioni Tui Pilotu. And just when Glasgow had been rocked back by the disappointment of the concession of three points. Tui Pilotu. Before that, like that one there, that movement in the pass, he pulls in on Watkin, delays the pass, Ryan Wilson hits the line and that's where the damage is done. And it's just an invitation for Tui Pilotu to burst through. Sir. Ali Price goes in, Jamie Batty oh, waits. Right, Does come to the front row. Price again. Price back. Assessing the, the options, available. he's getting dragged into the ruck, so no, Scott it. Cummings is going to have to go in. Deliver the short one to Darge. Tackle, you are white. Who almost wriggled away from the first shoulder that he found contact with. No white. Price sends Turner in. Step. Tui Pilotu comes on the short white. ball, but Turner goes. There is advantage here. Can Ali Price advantage. looks again. Kieran McDonald. Persistence the key can here for Glasgow, still. but can the backs? Open things up, Josh Mackay steps off his right and will go in under the post. It is a third try for the Glasgow Warriors and for Josh Mackay, who scores his first try for the club. Brilliant finish from Josh Mackay because Glasgow have kept the ball. Look at the slide and the Ospreys have to go across the field and there, that right foot step inside Evans. We've, we've managed to actually create quite a few opportunities. In Fine. We've been enjoying this um, this back line that you put together. It must have been interesting to, to create from a recruitment point of view, but to work with the likes of Tui Pilotu and Mackay and Forbes, and now we're seeing Fafito on. It must be great to, to work together with these guys. Yeah, I think we've got a good uh, good blend there. There's, uh, there's people like Ross Thompson, a young lad coming through, Scottish lad, and then we've recruited pretty well, as you say, and we, we've got some as well. There's a, there's a really... Well, thank you to Peter for your time and all the best for the rest of the game. Here's Ollie Kebble, isn't it? His side are on the attack. It's Darge to Pilotu was lined up initially, but he escapes the tackle of Anscombe and Tui Pilotu will go under the post. That's the bonus point score. And might that just be the game save for the Glasgow Warriors? Back and it launches an attack. This is a really good pass as well from um, from Darge just to get his hands free, but two politics should really be stopped there immediately before it gets going. Hold! That's one stop! In a five now. No chance here. Use it! Just over That's ten good. minutes remaining. It's Doby. We'll kick up the line. Brother up. Now Evans. Straight into two Pilotu. Bounced off him. And scum, and it comes to Prothero, and now a chance perhaps to run and find a gap for the first involvement from Hawkins, which was good. On your feet! Aubrey finds Stewie Lee. And scum.
Aubrey. To Anscombe, who has a dart himself, sidesteps through the gap, he's got a man on his shoulder, and it will be a try for the Ospreys, scored by Dan Evans. The veteran fullback goes over. Lovely little step. Is he moving on to the ball, step inside. And lovely support line from the experience, Dan Evans. Real. Kick off again. Kick off of kick off reception. It has to catch that. Morgan Morris. I mean, sometimes if you you can let it go, it carries over. But that's one that's dropping in front of me. Has to catch it, but it just has to be more aware of the, the touchline behind him. The Duncan Weir and Lewis Bean have come on for the Warriors. Donald with the claim from Brown's throw. Could be an opportunity on for the Warriors. Fraser Brown has his hands on the ball. He peels off down the side and he finishes it well. Tries galore at Scotston Stadium. It's another for the Warriors back with surely a knockout blow. Well, it's a kickoff, isn't it? It's a concession of the the, the line out from the kickoff, and it just gives an opportunity for Glasgow Warriors to shoot up that right side with Fraser Brown. It's a control ball. The line out's been great all evening in terms of Glasgow, and you can see Fraser Brown with his eyes up, and he just catches a one on one with Luke Morgan and drives over, drives through the. Who's approaching 800 points in a Warriors jersey. Sends that one right through the middle. It's a wonderful start from him. Uh, the Ospreys have huffed and puffed. But I think that's enough, Duncan Weir says. We'll take that. Final whistle goes. And in the end, the Glasgow Warriors stormed away in that second half. 